Hello and welcome to Pelicans Report, a show devoted to news about the New Orleans Pelicans and the NBA. I'm Jimmy Smith, Pelicans columnist for NOLA.com and the Times Picayune, and I'm joined today by Pelicans beat writer Nakia Hogan. And Nakia, this is rapidly becoming the Anthony Davis show, as we saw Saturday night in Utah, career high 43 points in a Pelicans victory, and Utah, Utah really couldn't do anything to stop him. Yeah, I don't think there there's been many teams, that, well, if any, that that stopped him. I, I know early in the year Memphis did a decent job against him, but right now we're seeing the uh, beauty of Anthony Davis, his all-around game, offense, defense, rebounding. So. Uh, I think it, it'll continue. He's a guy that's on another level, and the league has recognized it now. You know, what's most impressive, I thought, about Saturday night was 18 of his 43 points came on and one uh, opportunities. That's baskets and, and uh, fouls and, and free throws. It, it's, it was really incredible. Yeah, I think that's a testament to the strength that he, the, the weight that he gained and, and the muscle he put on his offseason. You can see now he's strong enough to finish through contact. That wasn't always the case a year ago. Right, and, and he's t tenacious on the offensive boards, and, and uh, it wasn't just offensive rebounds where he was getting his three-point plays, but, you know, drives to the basket, uh, his defense creating his offense on the other end. Yeah, exactly. And another thing I like about AD, you see him getting the rebounds that matter. Sometimes we see these, these stat stuffers that just get loose ball rebounds. Now we're seeing when the rebound really counts, when they need a big board, we're seeing Anthony grab that board. And, and, of course, the bad news coming out of that uh, game uh, in Utah was the fact that Eric Gordon uh, sustained a torn labrum in his left shoulder. Uh, we're still uncertain at this point what the course of action is going to be with that. Uh, usually torn labrums require surgery to repair. Monty Williams told us on Monday that they're still uh, doing some studying on that and perhaps he could rehabilitate the shoulder. Yeah, I think that's what they're going to try over this next week or two just to see how it's healed and see if that, that muscle is strengthening uh, you know, around the joint. But uh, ultimately, if it doesn't, it's going to be season and injury, you know, for Eric. And I, I think either way, just because it's Eric Garden and, and we have yet another injury, a guy that's had knee and ankle and whatever other problems he's had since he's been here, I think it's another here-we-go-again moment with right. this guy. Now, Tuesday night, the Sacramento Kings are in town. Uh, the Pelicans beat them just a week ago, 106-100 to 100 in Sacramento. You were at that game. Uh, Omar Ashik did not play. It was a really tough cover. Uh, for DeMarcus Cousins, uh, for the Pelicans to really stop him and, and get a body on him to, to slow him down. Yeah, I, I think what we're seeing now, just like we're seeing from Anthony Davis, you know, he, he emerged as one of the top power forwards, if not the top power forward in the league. We're seeing the same thing out of DeMarcus Cousins from, from the center position. And I think it, it's going to be very critical tonight uh, that, that the Pelicans have Amir Sheik at center because, you know, when they played a week ago, Cousins kind of had his way in the middle. Ultimately, it didn't make a difference because of the shooting of Ryan Anderson right. and, and the play of Anthony Davis and some of those other guys. I think everybody was on, for the most part, in that third quarter for the Pelicans. But uh, against, against a team like Sacramento tonight, I think they're going to need a big body, a strong body in the middle that can bang with DeMarcus Cousins because this guy now, he's if, if Anthony Davis is the best big man in the league, DeMarcus Cousins is right there underneath him. Right, DeMarcus Cousins, your Western Conference Player of the Week this week, an award that Anthony Davis is still yet to win. Nakia, thanks for stopping by, and uh, we'll be taking Thursday off for Thanksgiving, so our next show will air on Tuesday. I'm Jimmy Smith. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.